Hello, it's John here again. I'm going to give you another tutorial today. And this one is all about speeding up the design process. And last week, uh, under our blog, we posted uh, a PDF of shortcuts and hotkeys. So if you go to our tutorials and tips section, um, you'll find uh, shortcuts and hotkeys. And what we recommend doing is, is as you're learning this, to download this. Uh, PDF it can significantly accelerate your design process the, the design time and let's face it it's all about uh, getting this design up and ready for presentation uh, as quickly as possible so what I'm gonna do today is walk through some of these commands uh, so that you can get the idea let's pull up a design I think I've got one okay here I've got a raised garden, raised plant bed. And let's start with the orbit tool. By default I can select an object and I have my select tool. Now I have the option of clicking the orbit tool and left clicking and orbiting around. I don't do that. Um, well, I'll start by saying I notice different people have different styles so I'm going to show you what works for me but please make it your own. What I'll do in a situation like this is I'll just use my right mouse button and that puts me into orbit. So that allows me to speed things up. Um, and for the purposes of this tutorial I believe the left click will show up as a red uh, around the cursor and a right click will show up as blue. So that's that's the shortcut for orbit. Now I have another really neat one. Um, here's my mouse wheel, by the way, zooming in and out. I may want to pan instead of rotate. So I can hold the shift key on my keyboard, right click, and I can navigate the design this way as well. So that's uh, those are two uh, shortcuts that I use constantly. We also have uh, arrow keys for moving the camera so the left arrow key moves me left right moves me right up moves me forward down arrow moves me backwards now we also have plus and minus keys this will the plus key elevates the camera or the elevation and the minus does the opposite now we also can rotate the camera I don't want to change the location, I just may want to rotate it. So rotate left is A, rotate right is D. Now if I want to take a screenshot and publish this online, I, I can click F5 or I can go to main and create screenshot. Um, so F5 is another command. Setting the camera home. By default, if I want to view the camera's home position, I can hold Control and H, and it'll bring me to this home position. Now, this may not be where I want the home position. So, what I can do, zoom in here, I'm just using my arrow key, and I can go Control, Shift, H. So now I've set the home position. Now if I chose to and I want to go back to the home position, I can just go Control and H and it brings me right back there. Some other shortcuts that I think are extremely valuable. Uh, zoom to selection just in general is a very valuable way and I, that I find to navigate the scene. I may select something and hit Zoom to selection and I mean I, I, I do this constantly. It's a great way for me to move from place to place, move my camera around. Now there's another way to do this. So all you have to do is hit Z. Oops. So anywhere I go, if I have something selected, hit Z. It zooms right in. Um, just as another note, if I don't have anything selected, it zooms to the grid or the, the area here. So I'm going to hit Z again and that's what it's doing it's putting in position the lot okay some other powerful uh, tools for zooming 
Now I have a zoom to selection tool, which we just went through, and I also have a zoom to rectangle tool. Again, something I use quite often. Now, if I do Alt S, so I hold Alt on my keyboard and the S key, it allows me to select all the objects uh, uh, within that box. If I hold Alt R, the Alt key and the R key, it allows me to build my little rectangle there and then zoom the camera in accordingly. So those are the navigation shortcuts. Now let's talk about editing for a moment. Let's say for instance, let me just I'm just going to copy this plant. And my grid snap is on. And let me just make this a little bit more dramatic by making my grid space 2 feet. Now I want to position my plants and you'll notice they're snapping all over the place. And when I'm doing plants, I, I, that's not necessarily what I'm looking for. So I'll hold the Alt key, and it overrides the Snap to Grid function. And I can place it anywhere. Now say I want to select multiple objects. I can select one, hold the Control key, and select multiple objects. We already know that by holding Alt and the S key, I can select multiple objects. Now, deleting, we can always just hit the delete key here. Or we can do, let me undo that with, by holding Control Z. I think that's similar to many of the programs that we're used to. I can also just hit the delete key. Editing an object. I, there's three ways to do that. I can hit the edit tool and now you'll see all these points that I have available for editing. I can double click an object to edit it or I can click the F2 key and again edit it. Which brings me to another interesting one. Say for instance we uh, I want to edit these points but I want to keep them in line. If I hold the shift key and I select this line, it'll stay constrained to either 90 or 45 degree angle. Now what I would have done, let me undo that. The way I do this is unsnap the grid, and now it keeps everything on the same plane. Very simple, very easy to use. Um, that same technique, say I want to move this plant, I hold the space key and it locks it in to 90 degrees in either direction. Okay, another one. Advanced object properties. Now, there's a couple of ways to do there. Advanced object properties, say in this case, let me go into plan view. Say I don't want to see this plant in my plan view. I can right click and you probably can't see it, it's off the screen. There's an advanced object properties. But there's also Control Shift and O. So I'm going to go Control Shift and O. And I'm going to say uncheck show in plan view. And it's no longer here in plan view, but it is in perspective. So Control Shift O is for advanced object properties. Nudging things or moving things around. Again, I can use my arrow keys left, right, forward, backwards. Now, say I, it's going every grid space, which we now know is two feet. If I hold down the shift key, it'll do 10% and do a much smaller nudge. Not something I use often, but it does come in handy. Now let's do some editing here. Let me just draw, let's draw something here. Let's draw a deck. So what I'm going to do, oh by the way, if I hold my space bar, locks it in, which is nice and handy. I'm going to right click and there's my deck. I'm going to double click, put it in edit mode. Now say I want to add a point somewhere along this line, because I want to change the shape here, is all I have to do is hold shift. And by holding shift now you'll see I have this plus arrow, or this, this plus next to the arrow, and I can just simply click. 
Um, other ways to do that, I can right click and do insert point, delete point. Now let's, I'm gonna, let's put another point in here. I wanna show you something else. I'm just gonna move this out. Now say for instance, um, I wanna select these three points. Again, I can hold control, click one, hold control, grab another one, so on and so forth. Or I can do my Alt S for select. First, let me put it in edit mode. Alt S for select. And I can select multiple points and I can delete them. I can change the point type. Um, I'll show you that again. So I'm going to do Alt S. I'll grab these two points and maybe I would just want to change the point type. And it does that for me. And there we have a curved deck. Okay, what else do we have here? Insert new point. Um, we already talked about the space bar and restraining movements to 45 and 90 degrees. Oh, here's a fun one. Say for instance, um, let's, let's put a plant in the scene. Go to landscape, plants. What I'm going to do here is, gonna, let's find a plant. Let's use this azalea. I'm going to add it to the scene, but I want more than one of them. So I'm going to hold the control key. Hit Add to Scene, hold the Control key, and as long as I keep the Control key hidden, everywhere I click, this object will come into the scene. Once I let go of Control, it'll allow me to click one more time, and that's how that works. Let's undo those. A couple of pretty neat ones. Say I want to select all the objects in the scene. What I may do is simply go Control and the letter A. And now I have all the objects in the scene. I can move them around. I can rotate them. Oh, by the way, let's by rotating, naturally it does it in 15 degree increments. If I hold the Alt key, it frees me up and I can, I can do any degree um, as little as one see what else we've got here. Control L. So I have a plant. I want to select all the plants in the scene. So there's a few things I can do. I can go to the Edit tab and say Select Similar, and it's only going to select the plants. I can right-click and go Select Similar. does the same thing. Or I can do Control L and again, it does the same thing. And this works for all object types. We can select all the houses, patios, walkways, decks, um, objects like that. And then there's select by type. So I can go select by type. Now all the types come down here. We have 39 plants. We select them, close, and there's all our plants. I can do the same way holding the control key and the letter T. It'll bring up the same menu, select. So I hope this helps. Um, I hope this helps in your design process in terms of speeding things up. Again, this is just this is just the way I do it. Um, you'll create your own style and and, and methods for designing. And uh, we wish you the best. If you need help, um, I encourage you to contact support at visionscape.com. Thank you, and uh, have a great day.